Hello and welcome to Ubuntu Videocast. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to install a Polipo. Polipo is a um, caching proxy. Very simple, very easy to install. Um, probably mostly useful for um, networks with uh, limited internet uh, connectivity or dial-up connections, which is very rare nowadays. But um, if you have a uh, internet connection and it's constantly exhausted because people are downloading uh, website, uh, open up websites and downloading pictures or whatever it is, and um, if you want to minimize the the utilization on your internet connection, the, uh, one good thing is to use um, make use of a, a proxy caching proxy server. So uh, Polipo will do this for us and. Um, let's jump right in and the first thing we should do is to update our apt-get repository so enter sudo apt-get update hit enter provide your password and then uh, we'll update all our repositories takes a few seconds here all right almost done There we go. And then we go ahead and uh, install the uh, package Polipo. So enter sudo apt-get install uh, Polipo and hit enter. And you see it's a very small package. So it should be done here shortly. Alright, so Polipo is installed and then the next thing we have to do is uh, to a few lines in the configuration file and for that we uh, probably use our uh, browser so enter sudo nano slash etc slash polipo slash config and I said browser I meant uh, editor so hit enter here and then then we go um, Go a little bit further down and look for this line right here and enter our proxy server address where the polypo should listen on. So enter proxy address equals your uh, IP address. In my case it's 192.168.0.208. And then we go uh, a few lines further down to allow clients or allowed clients and enter our uh, entire subnet um, by entering allowed clients equals 192.168.0.0.4/24, and that means um, the entire 192.168.0 subnet. All right, hit enter here. And uh, after we're done with that, we go ahead and uh, save the configuration file. There we go. And then uh, we go ahead and uh, basically restart our proxy server. Enter sudo forward slash etc forward slash init.d forward slash polypo space restart. And that will um, restart our proxy server. And now we are able to uh, proxy our connection or uh, browsing our internet. So let's open up our browser. I'm using uh, Chromium here. Click on the wrench. Go down to preferences. Click on the on the left side on the link under the hood, and then on the right side click on change proxy settings. Click on network proxy. Change the method to manual, and then enter the. Uh, server IP address of the proxy server we just installed on, uh, for the HTTP proxy in HTTPS and enter the appropriate port. Polipo uh, uses by default the port address um, 8123 right, at, 
add that here. Click on Apply System Wide. Provide your system password. And click on Authenticate. There we go. Close that. Close that tab. And then we can go ahead and basically open up a website. For example, www.cnn.com. And you will see it takes a takes a moment to load initially to the website, but for future uh, use, it will be much much faster. And then uh, Polypo has another nice feature you can uh, use. Um, basically, you, it has a web interface to uh, manage or uh, manage itself or to um, look the status of the uh, caching proxy. So just enter the uh, address of your um, server, like in my case, it's 192.168.0.208 colon port address is 8123 4 slash polypo and then you will see uh, the nice menu here. The first two options are interesting. Um, the first one we click on, we can see the uh, a small status report on how much is being used. Second one is the configuration, which you can change uh, basically on the fly. So there are tons of uh, configuration options in here, so you can uh, tinker around with that a little and optimize the configuration to your liking. Um, I hope that this video was helpful, that um, you liked it, and if you do so, please uh, go to my channel or my website, www.ubuntuvideocast.com, and leave a comment. Thank you very much, and see you next time.